so this last week, the Pokemons happened. Pokemon, yes. Yes, Pokemon Go hit released on mobile, which is a game that encourages people who rarely, if ever, want to go outside, hello, to go outside. What I've said about Pokemon Go is soon you're going to be able to tell. Because every all the friends I have who play Pokemon Go are like, wow, I didn't even realize I walked like three miles today hunting Pokemon. So I'm like, give it like six months and you're going to be able to tell who plays Pokemon Go and who doesn't. Because it's going to be a bunch of thin, sexy people who play Pokemon Go. And a bunch of chubby, pale assholes like me who don't play Pokemon Go. Well, I wouldn't say sexy people. Maybe thin people, but the, the, yeah. the sexy that that that's that's a that's an assumption too far. Well, you know, I'm just saying. Just saying. Sexier that... than me because they're not chubby. But yeah, like everybody I know is getting fantastic workouts playing Pokemon Go, and I'm like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm sitting on my couch checking Twitter. <laughs> you should do the Pokemon Go just to realize that. It's, I don't really get poke like my nephew tried to explain Pokemon to me a bunch of times. It's like bird watching only virtual. Like I don't know the difference between a Charizard and a Jigglypuff. You don't need to. It's just it's like bird watching only virtual. And if you don't, it, it, do what yeah, I do. Don't you then have to like train them? No, no, you don't. You just, you, you'd be like, you have a little, you get these little things called Pokeballs, and you throw them at them, and if you hit them, then you've collected one, and you just have to get a full collection. And then what? And then you have a full collection. So it's like Nico at Sumi? Kinda. And also, you can get- But no cats. There, there are cats. There are cat Pokemons. That's right. There's one called Purloin, because I uh, told my nephew that was like his cat, because she always stole money. Nail polish. And and then there's there's kind of cat like Pokemons, but and they Aren't you supposed to make them fight? You can, but you don't have to. Oh. I see that's kind of my ethical problem with Pokemon. <laughs> you don't have to make them fight. The you... whole point of this game is to capture these poor little creatures and make them live in captivity inside a little ball and then make them fight each other to the death. That's horrible. Well, you it's don't have to. Slavery and gladiatorial battle. You don't have to. I mean, if, if that counts as slavery, then where the fuck did my cat go? Then owning a cat counts as slavery. I mean, I could watch my cats beat the crap out of each other by choice. Look at this. What? Okay, babies, that's not stable. One of you is going to fall. They don't care. They, they... Donnie fell off the tower yesterday. It was very traumatic. Ba no, Peggy... We cannot hog the whole tower. Dottie's smaller than you. Dottie is what? much smaller than her. What are you yelling at me about? Is she hogging the whole tower? Yeah. Miracle told us to never look at the camera. Crady's yelling at me about something. I don't know what it is. Hi, no, but yeah, it's and it's it just it encourages you to get out and walk and it, it incentivizes walking. And it's fun. Which is great. And people seem to enjoy it. And I, I certainly don't begrudge them that. I don't, I don't really know if it's for me, but... Try it. It's free. People seem to enjoy it very much. And uh, they're getting out and walking. And that's awesome. It's free. And pika pika choo choo. It's free. You know. It's free. I honestly don't know if I have enough memory on my phone because I have so many pictures of these cats. Like, once every couple of weeks, it tells me my storage is full and I have to delete a bunch of pictures of the cats. Maybe you don't, maybe you should put the pictures on your computer and take them off your phone. Here's, here's where you yell at me for being a Mac user. So I upgraded to the new iPhone. Okay. None of my music that's supposed to be on my phone has been on my phone since then because my iMac is, God, four or five years old now, maybe more. So my OS is too old that it's not compatible with my iPhone. So I have to upgrade my OS on my computer, which I'm afraid to do because my computer is kind of old and I'm afraid it's going to murder it. 
before I can sync my photos or my music. Actually, the last time we did this, we can't upgrade your OS anymore. That's what I'm figuring, because... Yeah, yours is at end of life. I think so. You can't upgrade it anymore. So I can't actually sync any of my photos or anything, because my computer's too old for yep. my phone. However, if your computer was a Windows PC, doesn't that matter is. how old it is, it would still work. Just saying. But I like my Mac. Even though it doesn't, it's obsolete and they're not supporting it anymore. It makes me happy. <laughs> Why did my camera settings just appear to change? It heard me talking about it. It's mad. Yeah. They are vindictive. Like, I know Macs have their weaknesses. I'm fully aware of that. But it's the platform I've always used, and I like it. And I can still run my Creative Suite 2, which is, I don't even know how many years old, pretty well. And, you know, eventually I'll have to get a shiny new iMac. could just get a Mac Mini and a monitor. I could do that. Those... Everyone wants you to get laptops now, and I hate laptops so much. Like, I want, like, a big fucking monitor and a separate keyboard and a mouse with only one button. <laughs> if you get a Mac Mini, you can get whatever size monitor you want and keep your keyboard and mouse. I'm just saying. Probably a good idea. All right. So, well, the reason I bring up Pokemon is, of course, because we have a new... What is what? No, I'm just fighting with my camera because it's gone stupid. What did you click Sorry. on? Like, look how stupid my color is. Oh. It's... Yeah, don't do that. Now it looks okay. Yeah, okay. You're fine now. So, of course, the reason I bring up Pokemon is, well... It's a big cultural phenomenon. It's affecting a huge swath of the really real world, which means, of course, we're gonna have stupid stories about it. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide interwebs, bring back all sorts of horrible stuff for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And of course, let's start off with Pokemon Go, of course, encourages people to go out into the really real world to various locations which have significance to potentially collect rare and unusual Pokemons. Yes. However, people are not really... There's even something on the screen that says, please be aware of your surroundings while playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta still look where you're going. You shouldn't do it while you're driving. You should watch where you're going and when you're walking. Probably shouldn't wander into an abandoned mine. No, not without Gandalf anyway. Pokemon Go teen stuck in caves 100 feet underground. Did they put Pokemon down there? No, they don't. Okay, because I was like, that's fucked up. Because one of the one of the important things about the game is it requires an internet connection, which requires a cell signal, which you don't get a hundred feet underground. Not unless you got a really good doomsday bunker. The glum and embarrassed foursome had to be rescued upon entering the complex cave networks known as the Box Mines in Hawthorne, Wiltshire. They had entered while playing smash hit smartphone game Pokemon Go. One member called for help when they, quote, miraculously found a phone signal. And a squidgy buff. I don't know. That's probably not a real Pokemon. I'm not cool. I'm old. It's, it could be that it's one of the words that probably sound like that. It, motherfucker. Guys. Guys. And they were 16 and 17 years old, which... I'll old enough to know better. I'll, no. I'll admit, I was a dumb as shit teenager. Everyone is a dumb as shit teenager. But even yeah. I knew that the abandoned mine is not a good place to go play. No. 
I mean, Jesus. You're not going to find Pokemon. Well, you will find those orcs and a cave troll. And you fucking find Pennywise. Fucking That's Tim Curry. True. And new and exciting forms of lichen. Yeah. And possibly hepatitis. <laughs> I mean, there, there is... What are those things from that movie, The Descent? Those bat people? You're not going to find any Pokemon. You're going to find horrible shit, though. There is no... Uh, you could... I don't care what the fuck Pokemon is down in the mine. That is a trap. That is a trap and a lie. Yeah. That is how, that is how trolls... And if they're actually putting Pokemon down there, they need to seriously be investigated because that's, that's some fucking artificial culling of the herd. That, that is how trolls lure unwary children to their doom, okay? Could we not attack my shirt, please? Thank but you. Come this, here. This isn't the only of Come the... Um, Why don't we sit up here and not attack my shirt? Thank you. This isn't, the, baby. This isn't the only uh, be mindful of your surrounding story we have this week. Because, you know... We could probably do a whole week on Pokemon Go. We could. We're not, but we could. Um... Part of the AR, the augmented reality aspect of this game, is that certain locations in the real world become significant in the game. In this instance, it was a, they said a Pokemon gym popped up in a place and a guy decided, hey, I want to go there and battle with my Pokemon. However, he probably should have taken note of what the location was. Pokemon Go wanted criminal arrested after visiting gym at a police station. Oh my god, but that's kind of amazing. While playing Pokemon Go, one Michigan criminal found the last thing he was looking for. The police. William Wilcox found himself at the Milford Police Station while police while playing the augmented reality game. The station Ow. had been listed as a gym where gamers can claim and catch Peggy. other Pokemon. Peggy, why are you scratch here? Play with the mouse. Don't scratch me. Play with the mouse. There you go. Have a mouse. There we go. Mr. Wilcox had a warrant for his arrest. However, police nabbed him on the spot. So... You think you catch Pokemon, police catch you. And they don't throw you in a little ball. No, no, they put you into chains. And you it have would to... be really funny if the police just threw a red and white ball at him. <laughs> and we're like, we caught you. No, they, they they put you in the chains, and they put you in an orange jumpsuit, and they look up your butt, and it's not a fun time. No. It's not fun. Really? Are we just, we're just going to attack me today? You have, you have little foot needles, you see, and they hurt when she you stick them care. in people. She does not give a shit, I'll tell you right I, now. Like, I know you're a baby, but you, you have little foot needles, and they hurt. Okay? Beat up your mouse. There you go. The original charge was for breaking and entering, but the warrant was for failure to appear for sentencing. He either forgot he had a warrant out for his arrest, or was just ignoring it, thinking nothing will happen. <laughs> That's not how that works. Yeah, no. If if you ignore a bench warrant, it doesn't go away. I just it. it yeah. So yeah, this th there's probably going to be more Pokemon Go stories as as the weeks roll on because this shit ain't going nowhere. Why does that fish look dead? That's a magic card. That doesn't answer my question. That's that's what all it does. It flops. How is that useful? It's not. Aren't they supposed to fight? Yeah, the magic card is useless. <laughs> so okay. Yeah. See, I'm too old for this game. Magic card is useless, yes. And no, I'm not I'm not gonna declaw my babies. They'll hear you. So let's let's uh, let's see. Let's move on to our regular wheelhouse. Oh God! If you keep it around long enough, it'll turn into a goddamn dragon. It does, yeah. But as on its own, Magikarp is useless. Wait, Pokemon turn into other things? Yes, they evolve. Yeah, I'm too old for this game. We're the same age. I'm not having any problem following these concepts, Dara. But you do the video games and the things <laughs> and the stuff. I play like rock band once every couple of months, dude. It's this is real. It's a kid's game, Dara. It's not that hard. Okay. What are you, what are you doing? What? What? 
Meow. What what insights are you offering us on Pokemon Go, Grady? Oh, I'm I'm a Pokemon champion. You don't even know. Okay, really? With the attacking my sweater? Could we not? Thank you. Thank you. I love you. So anyway, it's it's back to the normal shit. Let's go to our Knoxville. Fire. Something that has been with humanity since the beginning. Since Prometheus fucked up and gave up his litter, liver over and over. Fire is... One of those things we have a little bit of a handle on on how to use it. No, we don't. Yeah, you're right, we don't. Because our next story is about someone forgetting one of the very first rules of fire. Fire is not an inside toy. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not. Knox County woman cooks brisket in bathtub causes apartment fire. Firefighters controlled flames in a North Knoxville apartment after a woman tried to cook brisket in her bathtub. How do you do that? Her next door neighbors said they were taking a nap when they smelled smoke in their apartment. They went next door to see what was going on. She sat in her apartment just casually as smoke was pouring out. <laughs> She's literally the dog in that cartoon. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, Everything's okay. There was an open flame at the bottom of the tub along with a wire rack. The brisket was on the upper edges of the rack. The tub was melting. Crews used the shower head to put out the fire. So she just set up a indoor grill in her tub? Which was fiberglass, which is not fire retardant. Also, I'm pretty sure it lets off fumes you should not be breathing in. Yes! Like, there's a reason you don't burn things like that. Because then your lungs die. Unless you want to see new colors and talk to the lice. You don't want to smoke, the, you don't want to inhale those fumes, okay? No. You will find yourself having a conversation with your fingernails. Also, do you really want your brisket to have the aromatics of soap scum and bleach i know what the fuck were you what did barbecues outside do it outside building and i lived in a condo without an outdoors for a long time and that sucks you can't grill anything it blows i get that but dude life is hard like Sometimes you just got to accept these things and not set your bathtub on fire. I mean, you you cannot. I Bathtubs are not like they used to be. Yeah, you, they're it, not guaranteed like porcelain and fucking indestructible. And cast iron and shit. They don't right. do that. It's fiberglass. It's quick and dirty and it holds the water and that's it. Yeah. We are now a cheap plastic world. Yeah. And you can't put the fire there. No. Jesus. Don't, don't, don't. What the fuck? Oh, we switch places. Now Dottie's eating and Peggy's running around. Okay. People who live there say the smell is still really bad, even two days after the fire. I mean, this is like... I can't even imagine what that must smell like. I don't... I've never smelled burning fiberglass. It smells like cancer, Tara. That's what it smells like. I set my hair on fire once and didn't notice until I smelled it. And that smell is pretty bad. Especially when it's inches from your head. So our next one is... You couldn't climb up the easy side, baby. This is much harder. Okay. Oh, oh there we go. Good job. Our next one is, you know, I... I, I... This is not, bless his heart. You okay. should look casual mode, Jeremy. You should sing that. Cause I, I don't know if the voice for a Johnny Cash riff. No, no, no. Do it. No, we're on to the next door. We're on the next door. All right. Um, 
I get that when you're out in the middle of nowhere, drive, if you're going out into, you know, nature and you're driving your vehicle, you may feel like, hey, there's no one around. I can leave my doors unlocked. You are wrong. Because, um, well, nature is a bit smarter than you think. And for this one, we got video. Oh, do we got video. I'm going to show everybody this because this is the best thing. This is fantastic. Bless this this bear. Bless <gasps> this bless this bear's heart. Where is the video? I have the yeah, here it is. For one thing, this poor bear, I I feel for this poor bear, but on another thing, bless his heart. Um so he got stuck. In, Authorities in Colorado were involved in a wild incident Tuesday morning after a bear broke into a girl's car. Stay away from me, bear. Deputies arrived at the scene to find the bear still in locked inside the vehicle. He's gonna drive. Poor bear. One of the deputies recorded a video on his show on his cell phone showing the animal breathing on the glass and putting his paw on the window. Oh no. Deputy Josh Tillman said the bear was jumping from the back to the front, running around as much as he could and destroying about everything trying to get out. Yeah, you're not insurance isn't gonna cover that, I don't think. McLaughlin wonder how the bear got into the car because there wasn't a broken window. <laughs> the teen stole told the station she didn't lock her the door because she, and believes the bear may have just opened the door and locked himself in. I mean, you've seen videos where cats can open doors and bears kind of have yeah. thumbs. Well, there they go. They let him go. There he goes. There he goes off into the woods. Now look at what he does to the inside of this car. He runs off into the woods. He's happy. He's free. Good bear. And look, the fucking... He destroyed the car. Yeah, according to the, the deputies, he ripped door panels off. He tore the steering wheel off. I mean, bears are basically furry tanks. Yes. And this was a young one, too. This was like, like a juvenile. designed to kill. Like, there, there are fewer more efficient killing machines than a bear. So I, I fucking believe that shit. Bless, bless this poor bear. Can you? He's only like, what the fuck just happened? No, oh, he must have been so scared. I did not sign on for this. All I found was this little button and a nice, nice cave with a view. And I go inside, and it's and a trap. I thought there might be food. There might be food, but there wasn't food. It's a trap. Fuck this. Fuck these talking monkey I, sons of I bitches. I just wanted to catch a Charizard. <laughs> I mean, good to poor bear. I feel sorry. I do feel for that bear. Because the bear did not. He was not intending That's to... That's not the day he had planned at all. He's just like, I'm so smart. I figured this out. Wait a second. Wait, it's... I, I'm not smart enough to figure out the second part. Oh, you poor... poor bear. At least he's okay. Now try to explain that one to your insurance company. Just just try. I mean, there's video, so just... Like, was... Yeah, we it's... don't cover that shit. They're not covering it, no. Maybe if you have farmers, because their their commercials are all about how they cover absurd shit. So yeah. hopefully you have uh, J. Jonah Jameson as your insurance guy. Yeah, because otherwise we they don't cover bear. <laughs> Poor I I feel so sorry for the bear. <laughs> no, at least he was okay. Yeah, the bear was okay. Can you imagine? Like, I would not want to be the park ranger to open that door yeah i'd be like be a pissed off confused bear you do it no uh yeah. like no it's not my turn man who's your the fucking short straw on that one? <laughs> oh. well when they got him out of there admittedly the bear didn't want anything to do with him he just wanted to get the fuck away the yeah. bear was done you don't know like, that could go either way he could just want to go home or he could want to kill everything yeah I mean, you lock my ass in a Honda for like six hours. It could go either way for me, too. Yeah. And at least you understand what a Honda is. <laughs> yes. Bear doesn't. Oh, poor bear. So, lock, guys, lock your doors. Seriously, lock your fucking doors. Yeah. Because someone could steal your stereo or, or a bear.
you could get bear carjacked. A fucking bear. Because that's the thing that actually goddamn happened. Okay, Tara, so um, prepare to be doubly sad for this next one, because first off, it's from New Jersey. Yay. And second off, you've personally talked about how you've gotten yourself out of a ticket before. Yeah. By being, yeah, and everyone has tried this at some point. Everyone's tried to be like, give the, the, the officer some excuse. Officer, it's not my fault. Please, 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 officer man, please. However, this guy thought he had an excellent plan to avoid arrest. He thought wrong. New Jersey man poops his pants to avoid arrest. Why would that work? Police in Plainsfield, New Jersey say a 27-year-old man defecated his pants so that officers would not place him under arrest. Officer responded to a report of a disorderly man. Uh, they arrived to find 27-year-old Kyle Chambliss of Plainsfield talking loudly on his cell phone while sitting in a vehicle. They reportedly smelled alcohol coming from Chambliss and asked him to step out of his car. After being told to end his phone call and speak to them, he allegedly became aggressive toward the officers. When he told he was being placed under arrest, they say Chambliss told them he had to defecate himself and proceeded to do so to keep officers at bay. They've seen it before. Like, here's the thing with cops, nurses, anybody of that type of job. No matter what you throw at them, they've seen it before, and they are not impressed. Yeah, you you really, he really had two choices in this circumstance. The first was potentially get arrested. The second was potentially get arrested with pants full of poop. Yeah, and sit in your own shit all night. That's that. Those are the two options. There was no. It's it's not like poop is cop repellent. That's Mm-mm. not how. That, it's it's. It's not their kryptonite. This. Yes, everyone. Yes, poop is not a plan. His plan. His plan was poop. That was the plan. That was the master. I'm going to shit myself, therefore, I... Get... That's not how the legal system works. No. There's no not guilty by reason of loose bowels. No. That's doesn't. not a thing. Your Honor, my client pleads not guilty for reason of he pooped his pants. Oh, that... okay. Yeah, it's like, okay. It's not in the... really work in kindergarten. No. <laughs> the last time it's acceptable to poop your pants in public. Yeah, and even then, if you poop your pants in kindergarten, you're still going to have to do the, the activities with everybody yeah. else. They just Now, everyone else is going to clean you up, and for until you reach senior year of high school, everyone's going to remember you were the kid who pooped your pants. Yeah, you're going to be Jimmy Poop Pants forever. Forever. They don't forget that shit. Literally. My my mom used to send me to school in elementary school on St. Patrick's Day in a full leprechaun costume. We're that Irish family. And uh, yeah, I heard about Grady, it's a segue. Brace yourself. Because I heard about it my whole life. Like, oh, remember that leprechaun costume with the green corduroy knickers? Yeah, of course I do. That's not a trauma you forget. Okay, so it's just a leprechaun costume. There's nothing, there's no poop involved. I'm saying that's the sort of thing okay. you can down. Okay, good, good, good. No, I did not poop my leprechaun costume. Because I was about I was about to be a little worried there. No Do you really think I would tell our audience a story about pooping myself? You tell horrible you told us you told us about your dog on fire. You told us about how you went to Annie and were drunk. That's okay. A great story. <laughs> I don't know what you'll tell us next, Terry. You scare me in that regard. I don't know what the fuck he's going to... What other horrible, strange anecdote is going to come bursting from your childhood at any given moment. It's probably never going to involve poop. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'll remember that. But no. Back to the story. If your plan is poop, your plan is shit. Yeah. It's you need a new plan. 
Could we chop? Could we stop trying to climb me? No, they're that, never going to. Baby, that's painful. They're never going to stop trying to climb you. Okay, let's not climb me. I am not a kitty tower. <laughs> yes, you are. They got the crazy eyes real bad right now. Peggy's like. Well, yeah, you're not paying 100% attention to them. Therefore, something's going on and that's got to stop. Dottie has a new habit of like around 5 a.m. On, on many mornings. I suddenly start getting head butted in the face. Until I wake up and start petting her. And then she purrs and rolls around and rubs my belly. If I fall back asleep, she headbutts me <laughs> until I wake up and pet her. And this goes on for like 20 minutes before oh. she finally lets me go back to sleep. You realize she trained you. Yeah. Yeah. She trained you that this is, no, no, now it's time to pet me, human. She's, she, you've been trained by a kitten. I mean, if you know anything about me, there was never a doubt that I was going to be this cat's bitch. Yeah. That's, that's... Like, I was Miracle's bitch. I was Bridget's bitch. Like, that that was never in doubt. But yeah, so that's like I get headbutted by a kitten at five in the morning until I, until I pet her. So our last story this week is again from China. Do you remember the guy who on a bet swallowed all the nails? Yeah. Wouldn't that have been great if it were an isolated incident? Yeah. That would have. That would have been nice. Teenager swallows thumbtack to win bet, loses in the end. Yeah. Last, last one day, a 16-year-old named Wang Chan uh, bet his classmates. That's right. Yeah. Bet his classmates that he could totally swallow a thumbtack. Not only that. He also managed to drive three ballpoint pen refill tips into his abdominal cavity through his navel. Lee Peng Yu, vice director of emergency surgery at the Jinan Hospital, where Wang was treated, told reporters about the challenges surgeons face while treating their patient. Lee said surgery would damage Wang's intestinal tract, so it was better for him to eliminate the pin naturally and that's what they never think about if it goes in it's gotta it come, come back out after it's fucking sharp that's gonna be awful after receiving a healthy dose of laxatives the boy fortunately excreted the pin the next day just imagine no no i don't want to no pooping a thumbtack no no just I'm not going to imagine that, and you can't make me. That's, that's, but not only that, he also had these pen refill tips to avoid resorting to more damaging surgical procedures. Lee said doctors spent four hours locating and removing each of one centimeter long ballpoint pen tips with a laparoscope. I think that's, I'm saying that right. Laparoscope, yeah. Laparoscope. Laparoscope, okay. Uh, the ballpoint pen tips were said to have been constantly shifting position, and the boy was lucky to come out of this without his intestinal tract That's and abdominal actually, cavity being punctured. Do you know what laparoscopic surgery is? No. You do it on knees a lot. Laparoscopic surgery, it's so that they don't have to make a large incision. They uh, go in with a pin, and then they stretch your skin. And it heals a lot faster because there's no giant incision. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to recover from. I know this because my mom and my sisters both had laparoscopic <laughs> surgeries on their knees. But it's gross as fuck. Dudes do stupid shit to impress people. I, I know! Like, when I was in college, some dude drove like six staples into the calf of his leg to try and impress me. And I'm like, you're a moron. Like, there's blood running down your leg. I don't understand why that should impress me. He's like, well, I can't feel pain. And I'm like... Cool, you probably have tetanus now. I'm going to go. But no, you see, it's cool, though. No. Oh, no, it's not. Why do you think that's cool? And women don't do this shit. This comes with the penis. Yeah. I, I, I don't know 
what that penis does to you. Maybe you've only got enough blood to run that or the brain at a given time and not both. But something goes wrong when you have that thing and makes you, gives you this weird drive to do stupid, painful, possibly suicidal shit to look cool. I have done stupid stuff for attention. I've known full well going in, I wasn't going to look cool. I knew people was going to laugh at me. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, this guy thought I was going to, like, date him because he could drive staples into his leg. And I'm like, I don't know that that's, I don't understand how that's a useful mating ability. Yeah, I just, it's, I'm wondering what his friends were going to be like. Yeah, you sure ate that thumbtack, pal. You're the coolest. You are so fucking cool. No, you're not. Yeah. You have a perforated digestive tract. It's like, they say he did it to win a bet, and there's there's money involved here, but what actually they did was, they paid you to eat something and almost kill yourself for their own amusement. Right. That's what happened. You yeah. idiot. It's like, ha ha, like, cool, I won. I made 500 bucks. That should cover one-tenth of my medical bills. Ha ha, I won a bet. No. You were hired to be an idiot. Yeah. You're going to have to write that. You're going to have to declare that on your taxes. I mean, unless you're actually on jackass. Yeah. That's not a write-off. Even if you are. Like, I never understood. that. That's the whole premise of that show. They got a whole show with three movies out of, hey, y'all, watch this. People are telling me in the channel he got almost, it's the, what he got was the equivalent of $30 US. God. $30. I promise you he didn't sterilize that thumbtack. Nope. So in addition to the just plain old sharp thing running through your digestive tract damage, there's almost certainly a whole host of exciting bacteria he's now exposed himself to that your insides are not generally exposed to. No. That's your big problem when you have an open wound or something is the bacteria that the inside of you never sees now has access to inside and that's very dangerous like that's what my big problem with my fucking leg hole was because that's how i got MRSA because i had a big hole in my leg and MRSA got into it i mean i mean i mean it's, it's there's no win scenario here i mean thirty dollars that's like half an uber ride yeah. To put... The, that's I, not worth... I mean, not that any number would be worth it, but that's that's not worth it. Uh, it it's, it's one of those... I can imagine the doctor asking, so have you ever screamed when you pooped? No. You will. Check that off the bucket list. Yeah, you're going to do that today. You're going to have, oh, that's that's going to be special for you. So, I mean, at least thumbtacks are small, at least. Well, the, the first thing we learned this week is don't eat stuff for money. No, you, certainly not sharp things. This, this is a point of pride or honor. You were paid to be an imbecile. That's bad. You know, you might think you're the coolest, but in fact, what you're going to be doing is pooping a thumbtack. Yeah, and that's that's probably going to be unpleasant. <laughs> and also have your navel stretched open so they can remove fucking ballpoint uh, pens. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, just, just like, oh, look at here. The stones are also small. The difference is you have to pass those through your dick. Yeah. Pretty confident he didn't have to pass the thumbtack through his dick. That's the main difference. Rectum is larger. Urethra is very small. Damn near killed him. Um, we we learned this week that poop is not a plan. The cops are not going to go. We're not, we can't arrest him. He pooped oh. himself. <sighs> No, they're just going to go, great, now we have to arrest him, and he pooped. They're not going to be happy police. Now we have to arrest him and hose him down. You, you don't want the popo having to smell you like that. That's not going to endear them to you. No, no. Mm -mm. 
We've it learned. Doesn't make anybody happy. We've learned you need to lock your doors to your car. Because bears. Because bears. Who that's, knew that was dangerous? That's not even a joke. This is a public service announcement. Lock your fucking car door because a bear can get in there. Smokey the bear says only you can prevent carjacking. <laughs> We've learned that fire is an outside toy. Yes. And also, yes. <laughs> you're talking to Dan, aren't you? Yeah. And also, we've learned... I can hear what you're thinking. Only in certain situations. And also, we've learned that your bathtub is not necessarily fireproof. No. And finally, we've learned Pokemon is fun. Pokemon is great. It's getting people out into the world. But please... Pay attention. Pay attention to where you're going. Because you might end up 100 feet underground or in jail. Or some other dude wrapped his car around a telephone pole trying to catch a Pokemon. Don't Pokemon and drive. Like, what are you doing? In the world, I understand Pokemon is fun. The real world is more important because the Pokemon can't for real hurt you. The real world can fuck you up. That's why I, I wanted to stay inside and play video games in the first place.